Good day children. Welcome to today's class. Today we will be continuing with English grammar. We will be doing part 2 for the chapter that we started in the last class. Do you all remember what was the chapter? It was chapter number 11, punctuations. Yes, we finish uh, the first part and today we will be doing the second part. So let's get started children. Now, what did we learn about punctuations in the last class? First we learned what are punctuations. Yes, punctuations are symbols that help make the meaning of the sentence more clear. Punctuations are symbols that help make the meaning of the sentence more clear. They help to make the meaning of the sentence more clear. Right? If you will just keep on saying India is my country, India is very beautiful, India is uh, very famous for Taj Mahal. If you say keep on saying like this, okay, yeah, without any punctuation marks, it does not make meaning much meaning to the sentences, right? But when we punctuate the sentences properly using the symbols the sentences are more clear right now punctuation marks that is the punctuation symbols we learned about the punctuation marks the punctuation symbols and i told you there are many punctuation symbols full stop question mark comma apostrophe exclamation quotation marks yes and we finished with full stop we finished with full stop. We finished with question mark. I told you that apostrophe, exclamation and quotation marks you will be learning in third standard. So today we are going to do comma. We are going to learn about comma. Okay. Now, in the last class I told you that a sentence always begins with a capital letter. Yes. You have always to begin a sentence with a capital letter. Now, we also use capital letters for all proper nouns that are special names, right? Name of a person, name of a place, mountains, uh, rivers, oceans, cities, countries, months of the year, uh, days of the week. Everything is written in capital letter. Okay, so proper all proper nouns begin with a capital letter. Always remember, even if the word is coming in the in between, yes, in the middle of the sentence, you have always to write the pronoun, sorry, proper proper noun with a capital letter. Now, what I told you about I. The pronoun I is always capitalized no matter where it appears in the sentence. Yes, we have always to write capital I. Okay, I is always capitalized wherever you write it, whether it is in the starting of the sentence or whether the whether it appears in the middle of the sentence. Okay, I is always written in capital. It is always capitalized. <coughs> then we learned about full stop yes a full stop is used to end the sentence at the end of the sentence we put a full stop yes so a full stop is used to end the sentence end a sentence and we saw so many examples right question mark the second punctuation mark that we learned was question mark so a question mark is used to end a question sentence a question mark is used to end a question sentence uh, i told you questions they begin with how which when where who so many examples right so a question mark is used to end a question sentence so let us move on so today we will learn the third punctuation mark that is comma. Now what is a comma? A comma is a short pause used to separate a series of words. 
a comma is a short pause used to separate a series of words whenever you are saying a uh, you know four five words together you have to stop a little slide little pause stop a little and then go to the next word okay so comma is a short pause little you have to stop before you speak the other word okay so a comma is a short pause used to separate a series of words let's see some examples now if i say dogs cats fish make a good uh, go, uh, dogs cats and fish make good pets okay so here what we have to do we have to insert comma marks that means you have to give a short pause now what we'll do we will add a comma here because there are three words dogs cats and fish right so we do, the comma is uh, put between dogs and cats slight pause and uh, this is a joining word okay cats and fish is uh, what we have used we have used and to join the two words okay so before and you don't have to put a comma okay children we have just to put a comma between the two words here automatically and is joining cats and fish okay so you don't have to put a comma here okay you don't have to put a comma here you have to just separate dogs and cats so you have to put a, com a comma here not here okay and is already joining the two words cat and fish okay so now when we say the sentence again the sentence see the way i am saying dogs cats and fish make good pets okay so after dog you have to give a slight pause next my favorite colors are blue green red and red so here where will you insert a comma there are three colors blue green red right so we will give a short pause after blue and and is already joining the two other two words green and red so you don't have to put a comma here okay if you put a comma here it's wrong okay it's so only we have to join um, you, we have to put a comma between sorry between the two words blue and green so now let us read the sentence my favorite colors are blue green and red okay next mother bought apples oranges and grapes from the market mother bought apples oranges and grapes from the market so where will i insert the comma there are three sets of words there are three words okay series of words okay group of words so and is already joining oranges and grapes so we have to put a comma between apples and oranges so now the sentence will be mother bought apple oranges and grapes from the market let's move on to the textual activity insert commas wherever necessary and rewrite the sentences okay let's see now one day rosie peter peter and i went to a garden so let's write the sentence one day rosy comma peter and i you have always to write capital went to a garden okay 
वन डे रोजी पीटर एंड आई वेंट टू अ गार्डन फुल स्टॉप वी आर एंडिंग द सेंटेंस विथ अ फुल स्टॉप कैपिटल लेटर वी आर बिगनिंग आर कैपिटल फॉर रोजी पी कैपिटल फॉर पीटर बिकॉज दे आर प्रॉपर नाम्स येस सो वन डे रोजी पीटर एंड आई वेंट टू अ गार्डन नेक्स्ट The garden was full of flowers, fruits, and butterflies. That's right. The garden was full of flowers comma this is comma okay comma fruits and butterflies full stop okay begin with a capital letter end with a full stop okay and this comma is separating flowers and fruits next yes i like your doll so after yes you have to give a short pause yes you are replying yes comma again i should be capital i like your doll Yes, I like your doll. Next, we ate chips, sandwiches, and chocolates. Let's say we ate chips. send sandwiches and chocolates full stop Okay, begin with a capital letter and with a full stop. We ate chips, comma sandwiches and chocolates. Rajni, Seema, and Rita are good friends. Rajni, Seema, and Rita are good friends. So Rajni, comma. Seema and Rita are good friends. Full stop. Rajni is a proper noun, and we are beginning the sentence. So R should be capital. Sima is again a proper noun. R is again a proper noun, and we are joining the uh, two words, two names, Sima and Rajni, with a comma, and end with a full stop. Okay. Now, next activity: rearrange the jumbled words to make meaningful sentences. Use capital letters, full stop, commas, and question marks wherever necessary. So let's see. Doll pretty O has Lata. So you have to first rearrange the jumbled words and also use proper punctuation marks and capitalize wherever necessary. So first, Lata is a name of a girl and we are starting the sentence. We are beginning the sentence. So L has to be capital. Lata has O.
pretty doll okay next india is, is india a big country so what will be the right the so how will you jump uh, it's all jumbled so what is the sentence india i capital india is a big country full stop india is a big country next chick the grains eating is chick the grains eating is can you re uh, rearrange the sentence children try to rearrange the sentence think let's see the chick is eating grains the chick is eating grains tea or coffee have you will let's see will you tea or coffee it's a question so you will put a question mark okay will you have tea or coffee okay children we have finished with this chapter keep on revising keep on practicing okay children and we will see uh, we will begin with a new chapter in the next class till then goodbye sairam thank you